Hey, what's up everyone? This is Andrew. So what is happening with the prices on Vivi? We had a huge run up in prices and since then things have just consistently come down. And whether you've been invested in this project for a while or you're brand new to this project, it can be pretty nerve wracking. There's lots of questions being thrown around. We're hearing timelines from the team get more and more delayed, which is just compounding the whole situation. And the main question being, are we in a VV bear market? And could this last a long time? Or could it ever even come back to where it was before? I had the opportunity to speak with Spencer from Comics and Crypto Podcast, who has been invested in crypto since 2017. He's been invested in VV collectibles since March of last year. And he actually works in the NFT space on a daily basis. If you're feeling any stress or anxiety about this situation at all, then you need to see this because he's really insightful on what has happened in the past with NFTs, how early we really are, and what can we expect moving forward, uh, especially in the short term. So let's jump into the clip, see what he has to say. Here we go. And that's and that's what's so interesting because you know. Uh, we go through these these cycles and these kind of you know lull periods where mm. you know there's not a lot of happening you know there's some promises that were made that now we're you know we're it's getting backed up a little bit again but I don't know, what's kind of your overall message to someone because it sounds like you know more than ever you go into those Facebook groups or wherever and it's just you know people people are confused or they're scared or, or whatever mm. it is so from someone that's been here as long as you have since March. You know, what's what's kind of your thinking on what's what's all going on right now? Yeah, I mean, I mean, so obviously there's, there's a lot of FUD going on right now. Um, and I understand why people aren't happy, um, especially if you are a new user and you're just coming in right now where, you know, things are already really expensive. It's nearly impossible to get drops. You know, I mean, I, I definitely understand the frustration. Um, but what I will say is that there's still so much to come. Like, it, it's not worth you know, selling all your stuff just because, you know, you see one post on Facebook or Twitter of somebody complaining, like, like MTL is coming. So soon you'll be able to cash out VV versus coming, you know, once land is out, like I'm, I'm more excited for land than probably like any collectibles drop that could be coming, you know, in the future, like Me seriously, too. like I, land is, is going to be so huge. So we, we have that to look forward to. Um, we have the master collectors program, um, so you, there's going to be ways to, you know, basically make it easier for yourself to get drops. Uh, we have the new queuing system coming up, which should make it a little more fair for people and, and remove bots. Uh, it's, and it's just like, we've seen nothing yet. I feel like in terms of like what, what VV has put out in the IP, like we've already had incredible IP, but like, I still, I, I seriously think we've seen nothing yet. in in terms of the stuff that they're going to do. So yeah, it's just like, it's fine guys. It's just got to ride it out. <laughs> You just yeah. gotta ride it. No, out. it's just it's just it, the market moves in cycles, and this is just this is just a, a little bit of a lull. And all I, I all I view this is as a as a buying opportunity. Like I I didn't have a Steamboat Willie set, and I bought a Steamboat Willie set this morning because because prices are down right now. Just because you know that's something that I, I wanted to have in my collection. So you know if you, if you if you have the ability to to make some moves right now, this is this is a great buying opportunity, especially to to get into some of these you know Grail blue chip NFTs that are you know 30 40 50 percent down from their all-time highs so you can get a walt you can get secret rare spidey you can get um you know mcfarland batman at, at major major discounts right now so i know I, that's I, would, I would be fine right now if i had the capital yeah yeah and that's and that's what's crazy too and i know we're going to be looking back on this in you know probably even six months from now because you know when i was you know started back in march you know, I kind of really started collecting when there was kind of that first, like there was a first run up in prices. And then, uh, mm -hmm. you know, first part of summer, that's kind of when I started doing some buying and things had gone way down from that point. I know even people then were, were kind of scared about it. And then, mm -hmm. you know, then during kind of Comic-Con, the, there's kind of that fiasco with Comic-Con and their, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the whole situation there. And then the comic books came out and that's, you know, like I said, we even when, when I had Sean on, he's like, Buy that Marvel one, you know, buy, yep. buy the Marvel one figure rare if you have it, you know, it's, it's a couple grand on the, just buy it, just buy it. I'm like a couple grand. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, I, these I, things didn't, were I didn't get one. Yeah. Yeah. These things were $7 at the time. I'm like 2000 bucks for one of these. And of course shoots up, you know, like crazy. Yeah. And you know, there's, there's probably in the less, you know, my, my year anniversary is coming up and there's been at least five times where there's, something like this you know a delay you know owe me something where owe me is way down because everything else crashed 
Mm-hmm. There's it, oh, it, everything always seems to pile on each other at the same time yep. and kind of like a perfect storm. And then as soon as we, I mean, I think people forget that literally like two weeks ago, everyone's portfolio, no matter what kind of portfolio you had, it probably three X in a, in a week yeah. or so, you know, I mean, it's, it's only natural. And that's, that's what's so cool about it being in crypto in general is number one, VV is now to the point where it's its own like actual market, like living and breathing. There's the ebbs and flows, there's whales, there's newbies coming in, you know, it's a whole yeah. just ecosystem on its own. And by learning that, you know, it's, it's not like you're jumping into just the overall crypto market. We're like, what is Solana? What is Ethereum? What are, you know, what are all these cryptos that it doesn't even make sense. Mm -hmm. It's like your favorite characters growing up and now they, they have an economy aspect to it where you can, you know, and, and two, the, I think this, this time more than ever and, in all my years of being in crypto, you know, there's, there's always that, you always feel that FOMO. You always feel that when you see things run up, when you see like a Walt do what it did, Mm -hmm where it went from, you know, a couple grand to, you know, 13 grand and like feels like a couple days. And then from 13 mm-hmm. grand up to like 50 in a week, you know, you, you see things start to run up and you're like, I got I got to jump on it. But Walt, Walt was kind of its own special case. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I was, I was thinking about, I, I have two Walt's. I'm very, 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 very lucky. Um, nice. And yeah, I mean, I was not lucky on the drop, but you know, lucky to buy them at the, at the price that I did. Um, yeah. but, but yeah, I mean, even I was, I was thinking about potentially selling one of them during the run up and you know, Sean and I, we talked about it extensively and we just, you know, we came to the conclusion. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like this, this is going to be one of the most significant NFTs of all time. Like to, to get this up would just be, would be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, just the, from what I've learned about this this whole thing too is number one, there's oh, if there's something you're eyeing, you know, Walt's kind of its own special beast. It's it's such mm-hmm. a, it's it's doing its own thing. But all, most things on VV, there's oh, you know, as soon as you see things dip, usually it goes a little bit lower. You know, in times mm-hmm. like this, where it's just like mass fud going on. Oh, so yeah. there's, oh there's always going to be an entry point if you are if you're patient enough, and then you know, to these these huge run ups. You know, that's what's, you know, it's, it's good to stay on top of things. You can always, always find an entry point somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but too, like you said, with the Walt, like it always seems, man, when these things are sitting at 50, 55 K, you know, whatever was sitting at the top, mm-hmm. that is so tempting to get rid of. So it's, it's like, I could put a down payment on a house right now with this. Like it's, it's so tempting. Yeah. It's so tempting, but you know, you being in the space and seeing where this is going, how we know it's like just the start of this. It's like, mm-hmm. you don't know if you can, if you did get rid of that, if you could ever get back into it at that price, exactly. you know, you just, you don't know if it's when it's going to jump from 50 to a hundred in like a few days and it, exactly. so you know, you're priced out, you know? So, you know, I, I'm a buy, I'm a buy and hold guy myself. You same. Know, I, yeah. Are you the same way too? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't do flipping. I, you know, I, I buy holds, you know, and I just, I, I just want it for my collection, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, and just write it out. And I'm very much the same way with, with my crypto investing too. And, you know, outside of NFTs, it's, you know, I, I really only invest in things that, you know, I really believe in for the long haul. Um, you know, I, I have like a three to five year time horizon on pretty much all my investments. So yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. always thinking long term, and, and with crypto, you you have to be thinking long term. Like if you get too bogged down in the in the details in the day to day, you're just gonna drive yourself crazy. Yeah, for sure. And too, I think what especially, I feel like there's a lot of people new into crypto because of EV. They didn't even realize mm-hmm. they were getting into crypto. Really, yeah. you know, they yeah. just next thing you know, you're seeing this whole secondary. You're seeing these big swing in prices, you know, and mm-hmm. it's kind of their first dip into it. Um, but I don't think people people realize that, you know, that that's what the crypto game is about, you know, is all about is just being consistent. You're never going to yeah. be always up, you know, at no. some point, no matter where you entered, you're going to, you know, within the short term, like under a year, you're going to be, it's going to be up. It's going to be down where we are at before. That's why, you know, the, the dollar cost averaging is usually the, the best way to do it. Definitely uh, agreed. Yeah, something that I've I've definitely learned. I mean, because when I first started starting in, in crypto, kind of my my strategy was very much like a kind of like a spray and pray. You know, it's like I, I didn't have like <laughs> yeah. a, whole, a whole lot of conviction in like one or two investments and went really heavy. You know, kind of just like spread it out and be really diverse with it, uh, diversified with it. But you know, something I've learned is like 
the big money is where you, you, you have a lot of conviction in, in one or two things and you really, you know, diver- diversification obviously is very, very important, but having conviction is where you're going to see the really, really big money. So it's like you, you go all in on, like, I'm not, this is, you know, a very risky thing is to go all in on one thing, but it's like, you know, instead of maybe picking 25, you know, crypto investments, maybe pick five that you have a lot of conviction for and continually dollar cost average over time and really just build big up, your, build your bags. And, you know, so if you really believe in the long term and you know that, you know, two, three, four years down the line, they're still going to be around. If you just keep buying on all the dips, you're going to be golden. Yeah. And even, even too, you know, I've been investing in, crypto for for years Mm -hmm. probably around the same time you were like 2017 2018 and you know it's uh you know even just with nvv as well you know it took me basically almost from march all the way to when walt came out to where you know finally where everything sat in where you know low mints just Mm -hmm. the right opportunity you know, just the the right IP, you know, everything kind of lined up where I'm like, okay, this is the one I'm going to strike on and I'm this mm-hmm. is where I'm most convicted with. So, you know, I think everyone feels like they're expected that they want to be right the very first time, right? You mm-hmm. buy one thing and, and it goes all the way to the moon and it just, it doesn't happen. You know, it doesn't happen. I, I can't learning. even tell you the number of mistakes that I've made over the years and just random bullshit that I've invested in that has just gone to zero. You know, it's, there's, there's so much stuff, but it's like, the, the really cool thing about the crypto space is like you, you get rewarded for trying, um, which I think is so, so cool. So like, especially like decentralized finance and some NFT projects, you get all these like retroactive airdrops. Um, so like literally just for trying something out and just being a, a user and, you know, more or less like beta testing it, you know, they reward their early people by giving you governance tokens. Like it's, it's so, so like I, I have, I've gotten so many of these airdrops just for, just for experimenting, like even just using a platform one time, just to, just to check it out. You know, it's, it, you, you get paid just for, just for experimenting and trying in the space. So, you know, I definitely recommend, you know, VV is amazing. Obviously, you know, we, we all love it, but there's so much other cool stuff out there too. So, you know, definitely, definitely do some experimenting and, and see what you can find. Well, there you have it. So I hope this brought some clarity to you. Once again, no one can accurately predict the future, but by looking at the past year with Vivi, these cycles and how we've seen these ups and downs about five or six times within a year, it really can paint a picture of especially all the things that we have moving forward that we could come out of this fairly quickly. And when we do, it always ends up being better than where we were at last time. If you want to continue getting these videos, want to upload them, hit the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up in there, comment down below your thoughts as well, and I'll see you on the next one.